All right, welcome back. Um, I am still holding off on cutting the control horns. I got some epoxy that's gluing or drying on the stabs and the rudder. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some quick, simple things. This is the minus that. This is the stuff for the canopy uh, mounting. You got the front will be a pin. Which essentially, like this is the nose of the jet, you put the canopy in, you'll insert the pin in the front, that'll hold it, and then the back is where it actually has the, the locking mechanisms. Uh, this glues into the front. On the back side of here, we drill a little hole, and that's what your, your pin will go through, kind of support the, uh, support the uh, front portion to keep it from, you know, wallowing out this stuff. Um, second piece is this guy. So... This is the actual canopy here, and this will glue in right, right here with the tube running basically under that notch like that out and come out here. And then this will, um, the only thing I'm going to do different um, is just like that on this side they had a, um, have the apply that glues in for strengthening slash support. I cut a little piece uh, that I'm going to put in up front of this as well, just to give that that shaft some support here. Because I mean, if if this has the chance of wallowing out without any ply on it, this would too. Uh, plus, um, this will make it easier for me to get the alignment right, so I can essentially mark the 20 millimeters here, drill the hole, do the same here, and if I need to make this hole just a little bit larger to kind of get that, get all this stuff to line up perfect, uh, then I can do that and just have the hole there and then, you know, glue this in as needed. You know, a little bit of room, you know, left, right, up, down to get it a perfect fit. The only thing you have to deal with this is it's it's a pretty sharp angle. Actually, no, it'll be almost uh, yeah, might be just under a 90 degree angle, so it shouldn't be too hard to drill. Um, may have to just do take a dream one, put an angle inside the hole on this. But that's just a little mod I'm going to do, personal preference. Probably don't probably don't have to do it. Um, these pieces will glue in in here essentially like this you know and then when you put the canopy on these will slide in and kind of go forward and lock it in here and then you got this guy which is just a support piece that uh, goes here to kind of keep this it's kind of a long flimsy piece so they put this this cross brace in there to give it some strength so it doesn't you know support it in the front support it in the back so this area here could sit there and kind of flop a little bit flex so they give you a support to keep that center center piece from uh, flexing and probably fluttering in the flight and the stock setup is um, these long rods that go from Basically, they'll come all the way down to here, go through these little plastic channels all the way up to the back. There's a little hole here, and then a little hole on the fuselage, and that's kind of your lock. So you would pull, you reach into the inlet here, pull the pin forward, and the canopy comes off. You got two, one on each side that you put in. Uh, what I am going to use instead of those long rods is a more traditional uh, style. I got two of these locking pins, uh, so I'm just going to glue them in uh, the canopy uh, and have a little little slit you know will be right here in this little black area just a little slit with a little pull thing so I'll grab one on each side at the same time pull back and lift up so that's my plan um, not required, just something I wanted to do, make it easier. 
but I'm going to get to gluing these in and then hopefully the epoxy will be set up enough to start working and getting those um, control horns cut. I'm just really dreading that if you didn't didn't know I hate cutting control horns and doing linkages and stuff so but uh, that's it for now you guys have a good one